Minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ranking Member Engel. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, I think, represents the culmination of a series of wonderful bipartisan efforts that, while on their face to those who are not initiated, may seem to deal with disparate subjects insofar as they extend from Iranian ballistic missiles to Hezbollah's use of humans as shields, are, in effect, dealing with the same subject. Mr. Speaker, one can't separate Hezbollah from Iran. In fact, Hezbollah was born only a few short years after the Iranian Revolution, which brought such heartache that the loss of life in Iran adjusted for population mirrors that of the entire loss of life by the United States in combat during the entire Second World War. These are innocent Iranians killed by their own government, Mr. Speaker. And we see also that the Hezbollah forces in Israel and Lebanon and indeed around the world quite literally have continued to use human shields. My friend and colleague from California, Congressman Rohrbacher, said that Hezbollah actions had degenerated to the point where they were using human shields. While I hold Mr. Rohrbacher in great esteem, I would submit that they haven't degenerated. That implies at some point that Hezbollah didn't engage in such reprehensible behavior. And so the bipartisan actions led by Ranking Member Engel and Chairman Royce today bring us to where, indeed, we need to be by virtue of the reality of the world in which we live. Hezbollah does not exist but for the largesse of Iran and the monies funneled by the Iranian regime. The Hezbollah missile, missiles, which Member Frankel so eloquently spoke of, are indeed Iranian missiles. And the ICBMs that Iran is developing that we seek to curtail stem from a failure to include a prohibition on ICBM development in the JCPOA under which this Congress and this administration now labor. I would note for the record and for the members and for those who might be viewing at home that UN Security Council Resolution 1929 of 2010, which included signatures from the Soviet, or, I'm sorry, the Russians and the Chinese, said that Iran was forbidden from engaging in missile development. The JCPOA says Iran is asked not to engage in Yield the gentleman so another minute. We then, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So we then arrive at the point where the work, the good work of Mr. Engel and Chairman Royce is needed today, and that is what we do, and it is with a glad heart that I note the bipartisan nature of these agreements. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.